Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today, we say thanks to the age of streaming. We were able to watch old series in glorious HD, enhancing our memories. We take a look back at two series, Avatar, The Last Airbender, and its sequel, The Legend of Korra. Avatar, The Last Airbender is based on Avatar Aang that consists of three seasons and 61 episodes. The show premiered at Nickelodeon from 2005 to 2008. You follow Aang as a 12-year-old as the last survivor of the Air Nation. There are four nations in the world that consist of Fire Nation, Water Nation, Air Nation, and the Earth Nation. The premise of the show is that only the reborn Avatar can bring peace to the world by uniting the four nations. During Aang's time as the Avatar, he has yet to learn water, earth, and fire since he was trapped in ice for more than a hundred years. Since there can only be one Avatar at a time, it looks like the Avatar disappeared and people no longer believe in the hopes of the Avatar bringing peace as the Fire Nation has taken advantage and they are wanting to rule the world. This compounds the efforts needed by Aang to learn and make people believe. The show brought a mixture between anime influence animation and style with Western cultures and brought in Chinese art, Hinduism, Taoism, Buddhism from all around the world. Martial arts remained a highlight as each episode had plenty of action to wow the viewers. The animation pushed all expectations and set the standard for the time having a high level of presentation and its animation, voice actors, to the ultimate immersion of the show. It felt like many animated films, just a tad under what you saw in the theaters. The writing was impeccable and opened the book that bad guys can become good in the long run. A series that impacted many viewers that a new generation today hasn't lost a beat in entertaining them with its comical wit, action, and story, and heavy character development that truly had you care about each and every character. Avatar The Last Airbender receives a 9.5 out of 10 as almost a perfect series where almost every episode was just as important and memorable to the last. When looking at The Legend of Korra, the sequel of the series has a lot to live up to especially taking place four years later from 2012 to 2014. I made the mistake in watching Legend of Korra first before I watched the complete version of Aang's journey. The animation, strong writing, hit a new high as the main character Korra still fights to gain her believers as well as conquering her own demons created a lot of drama around her. I felt this left a lot to be desired in the supporting cast that did quite well, but still did not develop like the first series. They were already created and they had their own stories to tell, but never truly felt the same or grow the same as I did with Korra. It doesn't mean that the series was bad at all. With great writing, Korra fell into the depths of glory all the way back to depression. I felt it may have been a little bit too real for the viewers to truly take in, but it was very ambitious for taking on real life issues like fear, race, gender, depression, and sexual orientation. I applaud them for the risk, but it ultimately fell short for the supporting cast. The quality of the show is just like the first series, as they feel like mini animated films on the small screen. The Legend of Korra receives an 8.5 out of 10 for its great story and tackling issues from everyday life. Unfortunately, I didn't feel as close to the supporting cast like the original series, which I watched after Korra. Still a great series to watch, spanning four seasons and 52 episodes. That's it for me on this episode of Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Uh-huh.